The Memphis Tigers head into the fall with a lot of talent on their roster, but with perhaps a different set of strengths than their 2014 conference championship team. Last year it was the Tiger defense that made the biggest impact, but with the loss of eight starters, head coach Justin Fuente will look to veteran quarterback Paxton Lynch and the offense to carry more of the load in 2015. Lynch led the Tigers to their first conference championship in 43 years and first 10 win season since 1938. This will be his third season as the starter, and he has the majority of his cast returning from last year, plus a few new young faces that could be key as well. Four of Lynch's five top targets return, Moe Frazier, Tevin Jones, Roderick Proctor, and tight end Alan Cross. On the ground, they lose Brandon Hayes, but every other running back who touched the ball is back, and three three-star freshman backs are likely to get into the mix as well. While the offense looks to be the strong suit, Coach Puente will have to put quite a bit of focus into a talented but inexperienced group on defense. The Tigers lose defensive coordinator Barry Odom to Missouri, but have promoted linebackers coach Galen Scott to fill that role. He has coached at Memphis for six years and was the Tigers' defensive coordinator in 2011 under the previous head coach. Let's take a quick look at Memphis's 2015 schedule. They open up conference play against Cincinnati before a rematch in the Liberty Bowl against Ole Miss. The Tigers were only down four heading into the fourth quarter last season against the Rebels before falling 24-3. Memphis will close out the year with a tough stretch of league games, home against Navy, then on the road at Houston and Temple. The offense should be solid and if the defense's young talent can get caught up to speed, the Tigers could contend for a spot in the inaugural American Championship game. Up next, we have Brian Moss on the phone from TigerSportsReport.com. Welcome back. We're now joined on the phone by Brian Moss, publisher at TigerSportsReport.com. Thanks for taking the time to talk to us today, Brian. Oh, no problem. I appreciate you having me on. So Memphis is coming off one of their best seasons in quite some time. What has Justin Fuente done so well the past few years to get the Tigers playing at the level they're at? Uh, he really instilled confidence uh, in the players, uh, held them accountable, um, you know, on and off the field. Um, just really changed the culture from day one. Um, told everybody that uh, losing is not acceptable, uh, and just held the kids accountable. I think that was the biggest thing, is uh, holding kids accountable and that built uh, confidence over the years. And on offense, quarterback Paxton Lynch returning. What can we expect to see from the Tiger offense this fall? More of the same, um, but just a little bit more. Uh, you know, they're really, uh, really gelling. Uh, over the past couple of years, it's been the weak spot. Uh, the defense was uh, senior laden. And, you know, you knew what to expect from the defense, and, and now, the uh, offense is, is a veteran uh, unit, um, so you can just expect, uh, uh, you know, I expect a, a more high-powered offense, uh, more of the same. Uh, you know, I, I like to see a Lynch run a little bit more. I think I think you'll see that each year. Um, uh, his understanding of the offense grows. Uh, he, he can pick and choose where he wants to run because he's deceptively quick. Um, you know, for being with six seven, um, he's a pretty quick boy. And, and I think you'll see, you'll see a lot more of that this year. You know, the wide receivers uh, are really uh, starting to gel over the summer. Uh, they have a lot of time, um, you know, working everything out. So this this year, uh, expecting big things out of the offense. And you touched on it, but this was a team that relied heavily on the defense last season. Now with some bigger question marks, though, in 2015. How is the defense shaped up in the offseason? They have a lot of players that gain some experience, uh, you know, in the second unit. Um, so they have depth. Uh, over the past couple of years, he's built that depth. While they may not have starter, uh, starting experience, uh, but guys like Jernard uh, um, Avery got playing time, McManus, uh, Jackson Dillon, uh, these, these kids, uh, they understand it. Um, they, they really go after it, and, and they play. That's a big thing. Uh, because of uh, some of the scores, uh, the second unit got in there and got some playing time, got that experience. So I don't think the drop-off, uh, from the senior uh, you know, team that, that left last year, that graduated, I don't think the drop-off is, is that big at all because these kids that, uh, that are coming in have been there, uh, got the experience. All right, well, with the league now split up into two divisions, Memphis competing in a West division that welcomes three new head coaches and Navy, how do you see the Tigers stacking up against the rest of their division? 
I think it, uh, it's, it's a pretty good division. Uh, Navy coming in, I think uh, when you just take a look at it, uh, Memphis, uh, you know, being a, a co-champion last year, uh, Navy is pretty powerful too. I think those two will, will be the favorites. Uh, one of those two will, will definitely represent the West. And lastly, are there any players that have stood out to you in the offseason that you think might have a breakout year this fall? Uh, wide receiver, um, there's a couple of uh, wide receivers that uh, I'll be uh, taking a look at. Uh, Roderick Proctor, um, you know, he got some playing time last year. I think this year he could uh, really take off. And another uh, kid that's uh, new this year, uh, wide receiver Jalen Ogilvy. I think with uh, Paxton Lynch, uh, you know, having his leadership, I think these two wide receivers are ones to watch next year. And at the running back position, uh, Dorlin Dorsius is coming off injury. He's 100%. Uh, and then you have uh, Jarvis Cooper. They, they, they form that thunder and lightning. One's real quick, one's, real, one's type of bruiser. I think those four uh, players should have a breakout year. All right, Brian. Well, thanks for joining us on the show today. All right, appreciate it. Again, Brian Moss, TigerSportsReport.com. The Tigers kick off their season at home September 5th against Missouri State. For the American Digital Network, I'm Haley Outen.